Hi, I'm Pete Nigerian, class of 1986 and co-founder of Trade Monster. On the field and in the markets, there is no room for error. You need to be prepared, have a plan, focus when executing, and stay disciplined at all times. That's why we have built the Trade Monster platform to help investors become successful in the markets. Success doesn't come overnight. You build it brick by brick. How much better you are, you're better. There's no question about that. Everybody in the country sees that. But we still got to move forward. We're going to be different. We're going to be uncommon. We're going to be unique. We're going to find a way to get that edge. And that's what we're doing today. Over the next two days, you're going to face quite a bit of that adversity. Some of that's going to come from our equipment we have in the field right now. 16 foot log poles, 50 pound sandbags. Some of it is gonna come from the deep end of the pool tomorrow. When we found out that they were gonna bring in the special forces, everybody was sort of uh, iffy on what, what was really gonna go down. Everybody was trying to find YouTube videos on what kind of stuff that they are gonna have us do. And it was actually a lot different than I thought it was gonna be. I thought when they came in, I, I think they did a good job at recognizing some of the issues that we had as a team. If I do anything, I want to build one team. You know what my mission is? Build, build better leaders and more cohesive teams. That's what my mission is. And in two days, that's what I hope to do. Now take your command from where are the leaders at. Got them, they got it. Hey, say hi, If you don't hold each other to the standard, Wisconsin will. I think we really grew as a team. Early on, it was a big test as far as how we responded to uh, you know, them yelling and screaming, cussing us out, and the uh, challenges that we uh, faced. Coming out of it, I know I definitely grew as a person. I know our leaders grew. And as a team, we uh, definitely were better for it in the end. Hold yourself first, accountable. And then demand out your buddy to your left and your right. Make no qualms about it. That's, that's probably the hardest physical training that, uh, that we've done as a team. The program really pushed us to, to limits that we, we haven't reached before. You can get mad at me all you want. I go back home to my family and I'll watch you play on the field. I'll watch you play. I would rather see you attack. I'd rather see the underdog go in and crush and run over Wisconsin. <coughs> now follow me, let's go. We had to tread water while changing a sweatshirt off and back on and off again and the challenge there was that the guys who didn't know how to uh, swim had a guy who was the adequate swimmer next to them and that just built a uh, foundation of teamwork and it definitely built the, uh, the relationships within our team. I got you now. We're not going nowhere. We're going to finish this thing strong. Let's go. You know, we were all physically exhausted in those exercises and, you know, it was Aaron Hill's responsibility to, to communicate different tasks to us. One, two, three. He does the things that you need to do to establish yourself as a leader. He, he, he lives it. He doesn't just talk about it. I was the only voice out there yelling for 60 yards and everybody had to be on my tune. So, I mean, that sort of helped me become more of a vocal leader, which is one of the things that um, was my goal uh, this year, was to become more vocal in my leadership role. Aaron Hill stood out the most out of anybody. Uh, I think he proved how selfless he was. Uh, you could tell by his actions and his, his commands that he was giving us that he was much more worried about the, the success of us as a unit versus how tired he was, how close to drowning he was or anything like that. Uh, he was definitely goal oriented and you can see why he's such a good leader for us now. We're gonna turn this thing around and this is where it begins. 
Yeah. <laughs> Offense wins games, defense wins championships, and this is why. We put the team on our back and we go. We put the team on our back and we go. I see you, man. Everyone who steps on that field for us on Saturdays is getting an opportunity to, um, to mark themselves down and put themselves in history um, for one of the most historic college football games there is. Playing against Wisconsin is a big rivalry, longest uh, active uh, rivalry game. It's a great meaning to me personally because I'm from Wisconsin and I uh, just love you that axe back. You see pictures of that axe everywhere and uh, we, we haven't seen it for a while and that's in the back of our mind, we want to get it real bad. Uh, this is definitely the most successful that we've been as a team going into the to the Wisconsin game, and it's easy for that that energy to uh, double as far as how how anticipated, how excited you are for this game. But at the same time, we just have to keep doing what we usually do. We have to keep going through our same process, and that's the only way you're going to get a victory. You know, I don't mean to to, to trivialize a lot of the things that go on in life, a lot of important things like um, lives, births, deaths, marriages, funerals, but uh, you know, to win the act um, is probably gonna, would be a watershed uh, event in my life, um, in my teammates' lives. This year, I think, has solidified itself as a turnaround year for us, but a win against against Wisconsin would truly make a foundation of this is a new team and uh, it'll be a new new program going forward. I just I just feel like uh, our program is moving in the right direction and, and uh, the guys really believe that. They, they, they feel like, hey, you know, we're gonna play our best ball game this Saturday and then next week you feel like you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna improve some more. And we really haven't played our best football game defensively yet, I promise you. And uh, this would be a pretty good opportunity to do it.